Ain't never been with a chick this bad I ain't worried about the Ain't never been with a chick this bad I ain't worried about hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing a kind of informal video and it's kind of like a chill video i'm taking down my old braids um this is a really trendy video on youtube but i've had my braids up for about two weeks and that's a long time for me because i usually redo my braids every week that i wear under my wig but like i've just been super busy so i need to take them down and give my hair some tender loving care it is hella dry you'll see in the thumbnail but it says look at this like this is really dry for me i y'all this is just so dry so um without further ado let's get into the video today we are using two products i have my rice water i'm going to be doing a rice water challenge i'm gonna do it right now and then it's gonna go on for like basically a month so when i get back from brazil i'll tell you guys the results because i'm going to take it with me to brazil um i really haven't like talked about that that's why you should keep up with me on my other socials which is shameless plug my snapchat and also my instagram they'll both be right here and i'll put in some little um clips of my instagram so you can see like what's it all what it is all about but i'm doing the rice water challenge um i've done my research on it i know what it is um y'all can't really see because my hair is in braids but i have mid back length natural hair i've been natural for five years so i'm going to be doing a lot more videos on my channel that involve my hair because people have been asking me about it since forever basically since my hair started getting longer and people started noticing my length and noticing the help in my hair they've been wanting to know what i do with my hair so i'm just going to show you guys how i do my version of the takedown like i said i have two products which is my rice water if i didn't have rice water i would have probably just regular water or some water that has some aloe vera in it or some water that has some conditioner in it but it needs to be some water that is going to be in your hair so that you can moisturize it because as you can see my hair is hella dry and if i just start taking down these braids with a comb and i don't have any moisture in it that is not good for your hair at all like natural hair is naturally dry and you have to keep that thing moisturized like you got to keep that thing juicy like juicy like you got to keep your natural hair juicy baby if you want it to grow and if you want it to be healthy and flourish and just be full and thick keep that thing wet for me i have um my natural hair likes um coconut oil this is what i use on my hair if your hair does not like coconut oil if you have low porosity natural hair and your hair does not tolerate coconut oil do not go out and say that joy said i did not if your hair does not tolerate coconut oil do not use coconut oil i'm gonna make a video about hair porosity and hair type and all that stuff because that's something that i know a lot about but let's get into this braid takedown y'all so first i'm gonna saturate this area with some water I got that cool spray bottle where it keeps on spraying. This smells so. Taking down my little hairs. Okay, I sprayed the rice water on my hair. And I'm gonna grab some coconut oil. Now I'm gonna rub it on my hands and my fingertips in particular because that's what I'm using. Take down my hair and I'm just gonna rub it on the braid and then start to take down. So, this is just me taking down my hair. Super soft. Oh my gosh, super soft. But I also am a person that while my hair is underneath my wig, every night I moisturize my hair. So, I'll spray it with water, uh, regular water. And then I just, um, after I spray it with regular water, then I'll put oil on it from my little oil thing. And it's argan oil, um, tea tree oil, and Jamaican black castor oil. And that's what I oil my scalp with basically every night. Sometimes I get lazy, but I try to every day, even if it's not at night, maybe it's before I put my wig on, to oil my scalp. So here's my little hair out of one braid. I don't have really, I have a little bit of shedding. So that's that. So we're gonna do the other braid. Put water on there. Little coconut. Put a little bit more water on it. And be careful when you're taking down your hair at the bottom. You need to like be very, very careful and gentle with that so you don't break your hair off. Because your ends are your oldest part of your hair, as you all know, and those are the most fragile part. So that's the part you have to take the most care of. So that's why I like to put the oil on my hands to make sure that my fingers 
are gliding very seamlessly through the braid. So now we at the top, we getting up there. And this whole front quarter is now taken down. And it's kind of still like run your fingers through it. It's real soft. It's so soft. And there's a little bit of shedding. I haven't combed it out yet. So wait for it. So now we're going to go to this side and spray it with some water. And take your time, like I just said this, I know I just said this, but I want to stress it. Take your time when you're at the ends. Don't get frustrated and just be pulling all over your hair. Because if you do that, you're going to break off your hair and you won't ever see growth because the length that you could retain, you're destroying it by not being gentle. So just be real gentle with your hair. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. All right, we got that down. We don't really have much shed hair. We didn't really pull any out. So then we're gonna start on this one. Get a little bit more of your oil of choice. Put it on your fingers. And then that's on the bottom. Yep. Now this whole front part is out. It's itchy, honey. It's more itch. It's more. <sighs> I look crazy. So this is the front part. So now we're going to get started on that back. On that back part. So we're going to spray water again. Y'all already know the drill. And if y'all don't know the drill, you haven't been watching this video. See how long this braid is? You see this? Your sis has inches. She has inches. But yeah, y'all. I'm just taking this down. Trying to be gentle. Another thing, I do this when I take down my um, weave braids, but like, you know how you'll go up in the braid and find a part where you can just pull straight down and like it unravels? Don't do that with your real hair because it's your real hair and it can break. <laughs> I just want to make y'all very cognizant of that kind of stuff because it's like down to the way that you take your hair down is such an important step in taking care of your hair. So the way that you braid it, making sure that you're not snagging it too much or anything. So all these little things that seem so little and minute are actually super big deals because you're trying to make sure that you're retaining and maintaining length. So even if your hair is growing, if you're not doing the most to take care of the hair that's growing, it won't, like you won't retain the length that you have. It'll always be breaking off because you're not doing practical and safe natural hair practices. So we're on to braid number two. In the back of my hair, the curl pattern is a lot looser than the front. So like at the middle of my head, it's like kind of coarse, but that's also the one of the most sensitive parts of my hair, my middle. But the middle is like kind of coarse, kind of loose, and then the back is like super loose water wave. And the front is like, it has kind of like a water wave to it, but it's more coily. And you can kind of see it in my wash and goes. If you ever um, watch my wash and go video, and it's like a really great wash and go video for girls that have type 4 hair. Because that's the type of hair I have. I have type 4 AB hair. But um, if you go and watch that, it'll show you like, you'll see how my hair pattern changes. Like from real kinky and tight to loose in the back. And that's also where you can see my length the most in the back. Because, see. You can kind of see, I'll do a better like 
view of it in the bathroom and I'll change shirts so you guys can see it better. And um, I'll also insert some pictures because I did do like, um, I pulled my hair down in one of my pictures that I took and it is to the middle of my back basically. But I don't want to do it on my white shirt because I don't want to get it, um, oil, get oil stains on it. So, yeah. But I just got some more oil and water on this side. And we're just going to take this braid down. I'm pretty sure I've already got stains on this shirt, to be honest. So, it doesn't matter. But I don't want it to be, like, a big stain. Because, obviously, my hair is kind of, like, has coconut oil all over it. Oh, and then another thing is that I don't know, like, how I personally feel about people leaving up their wig braids for freaking, like, four months and stuff. That's crazy to me. I don't know what my hair would do if I did that. I start matting together. I feel like you lose more hair doing that kind of stuff than if you just would do braids, like, take your braids out every week. Or for me, like, two weeks is a long time. Like three weeks, I would have to be like, when I'm like going out of the country or if I have like a sew-in, three weeks is the max I usually keep sew-ins in. Four weeks is pushing it because my hair gets super itchy because my hair grows really fast. So it gets itchy real fast and I'm always putting like product in it to help promote hair growth and I'm doing like massages on my hair. So I'll stimulate the hair growth on my head. So that would just be really hard for me to always be itching my head. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate for my head to itch because of a hairstyle like that would be the thing that makes me take it out bald it right or i didn't do proper preparation for a hairstyle something all right y'all so with my takedown and there's no combing out right now i don't usually comb my hair out when it's um dry but with just this takedown This is the total of breakage that I experienced. This is all of the breakage I experienced on my head with this takedown. So, um, two weeks is not that long, but it's long for me because my head is itching. But yeah, y'all, this is my hair. We're going to go to the bathroom. But yeah, this is all my hair. Um, I just took out the braids. I guess I'll just keep this shirt on. Hopefully, I don't get no stains on it. But like, here's the front of my length. Um, here's like a side piece. And then the front, front part. And then um, I'll insert a picture of me um, pulling it to the back because I mean, I cannot personally videotape that on my own. <laughs> that would be really hard, but yeah, y'all. It's my little hairs after two weeks of being a little braid so okay y'all well thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you learned some useful tips from it and if you have any questions you can um leave them in the comment section below dm me on my social medias like i said they are in the beginning of the video and i'll put them somewhere on here and they're also on my outro so let me know if you have any questions at all anything talk to me i love interacting with y'all and i love your feedback but other than that i'll talk to y'all later bye